The Hong 475 is truly non-stop as more keyboard makers are producing more and more 75s, let alone we have Akko on one end. In this video, we're going to tackle and differentiate the 75 boards of Akko so that when you're in the market, you know what to exactly look for. Disclaimer, this is not a sponsored post. This is to help anyone who feels a bit lost when looking over at what's available. Keep in mind that Akko has different series of boards to differ their products from one over the other. We have the Mod series, the ACR series, and the Beginner series. Starting with the Beginner series, we have three boards in this lineup. The 5075S, 5075B, and the PC75B. The 5075S comes in bare bones and pre-built. The pre-built option comes with its own shine through keycaps. The 5075B on the other hand only comes in pre-built and features tri-mode connectivity. The PC75B stands out aside from the tri-mode connectivity. It comes with different keycaps and switches to match a certain theme. Its V2 version has its improvements on the mounting structure from its predecessor. There is also the B Plus version, which provides the user more features on the software. So see more on the link on what are the difference between the B and the B Plus. How do they differ? The 5075 are made with ABS plastic and it uses gasket mount system. The PC75 on the other hand is made with polycarbonate plastic matching with a unique mounting system. Next up, ACR series. I'd like to consider this lineup to be on the intermediate as it gives the user more freedom to mod on their own. The ACR series comes in three distinct boards, the ACR75, ACR Pro 75, and ACR Top 75. Keep in mind that both ACR75 and its Pro variant comes now in V2. For the ACR75, its case features a stacked acrylic structure you would have multiple pieces of acrylic to build the case up. Both the black and white options for this board features the gold piece accent on the USB port plus it uses south-facing sockets. For the ACR Pro 75, this comes now in CNC acrylic. This makes the board much more rigid and durable compared to the ACR 75. Unfortunately speaking, the V1 of this board still exists. Opting for the black will get you a south-facing PCB and the white will get you a north-facing PCB. However, keep in mind that the V2 will stand out more as it has a gold piece accent on the USB port. For the ACR Top 75, you can opt for an acrylic or aluminum case structure and it uses the top mount. The acrylic option features the PCB with backlit RGB to give the overall case a more pop. How do they differ? The ACR75 and its Pro variant have gasket mount system. The ACR75 comes in stacked acrylic case, while the ACR Pro75 comes with CNC acrylic. The gasket mount should provide you for a more softer typing experience. The ACR Top75 is highly different as this uses top mount and may come in acrylic or aluminum case. Top mount could make the sound of the board overall consistent. Finally, we have the Mod Series, the Chads of the Akko boards. The Mod Series starts with Mod 006, 007 V2, 007 S V2, and 007 PC. The Mod Series offer tons of configurations of the board for the user to try on. With that in mind, all of the boards use the same gasket mount system. The Mod 006 comes with a badge rather than a volume knob. The 007 V2 has an updated case structure from the original Mod 007 and it also features a taller volume knob. The 007 S V2 is exactly as the same as the previous one but this comes with a south facing PCB. The 007 PC retains the similar exploded layout and its case is made with polycarbonate material. So what is the difference then? The 006 has a badge to begin with while the 007 has a volume knob. The PC variant of the 007 stands out as this keyboard has Perflex cut PCB, making the typing experience much softer and flexier while it is housed on a polycarbonate material. In addition, 007 can get a bit complicated when V2 and the SV2 are both in stock, so you need to be mindful whether you are getting a north-facing PCB or a south-facing PCB. In summary, when it comes to the layout, both the beginner series and the mod series come with the exploded layout, only the ACR series that features the compact 75. 
price range, if you want to be more on the super budget side, you have the 5075S or B and the PC75B. You either buy a theme keyboard or you just want to buy one, mount your own switches and keycaps, you're good to go. If you're looking for a frosty and something a bit more challenging from the starters, the ACR series is definitely the one for you. And if you want to go all in with your board, you have the mod series with you to explore on different configurations that best suited your style. So I do hope this video will guide you guys in checking all of the 75 boards from Akko. They do have a guide map on their Discord channel so make sure to check that one out as well. I'll see you all in the next one.